Hello, welcome to the Villages Florida. My name is David. I'm a realtor with Florida Realty Investments and every week I take a look at the real estate market here in the Villages. For those who don't know, the Villages is a 55 plus community. There are younger people here, but most of the residents are retired or older at least. The Villages provides resort style life with uh, world-class golf courses, live entertainment, 365 nights a year in four separate locations, shopping, recreation, dining. Uh, I think there are more than 3,000 active clubs currently. And if you're looking to retire uh, in a country club lifestyle, then this is the community for you. Um, and this is the show for you if you want to know what the long-term trends are on prices, price per square foot, where homes are selling, how many are selling, what areas of the villages are seeing activity. We'll cover all of that. We even break the villages down geographically so you can get an idea as to which areas are most active. Uh, everything is fresh as of today. We produce this show every Monday, so please make sure you check the date to ensure you're getting the most recent information. Secondly, um, the Villages is unique in that we have two separate real estate marketplaces here. The VLS, which is the Villages' own internal real estate marketplace, and the MLS, the Multiple Listing Service, which you're familiar with from other areas of the country. If you are a buyer, you need to have a broker or an agent who will show you VLS properties and MLS properties. If you only have a VLS agent or you only have an MLS agent, you will not be able to see everything for sale here. Similarly, if you are looking to sell your home, you're gonna to have to decide whether to list it on VLS or on the MLS. If you're a buyer and you're trying to find a good deal, I'm gonna show you uh, some uh, proprietary uh, analysis we can do to help you find a good deal. And if you're a seller, the analysis will help you justify the highest possible reasonable asking price for your home. Uh, we produce the show every week. Uh, if you find the information valuable, please consider liking or subscribing to the channel. It really helps us with the YouTube algorithm. And if you would like to reach me, I can be reached either at davidisinflorida at gmail.com or through our website, davidisinflorida.com. Whether you're a buyer or a seller, I think you'll find our data-driven approach will give you comfort that the price you're considering is a fair one. So with that out of the way, let's take a look at what's happening this week. We start every week by taking a look at what's happening with interest rates. And for those who haven't really been paying attention, ever since the Fed cut rates on uh, the 18th of September, the mortgage rates and the 10-year Treasury yield have gone up, which means that in spite of the government reducing interest rates, the actual price of money, i.e. mortgage costs, have increased you can see that towards the end of last week, we saw a very big jump in interest rates, and it certainly seems like the market may be spooked. I would not be surprised to see rates head higher from here. I'm going to start by orienting those of you who don't know where the Villages is. Uh, we are in central Florida, about an hour north of Orlando. Uh, the map that you're looking at is showing you all active listings on the MLS as of today, the 7th of October, 2024. Uh, on this map, every listing is represented by a dot. The size of the dot represents the size of the home, and the color of the dot represents its price per square foot. So the larger the dot, the larger the home, and the lighter the dot, the more expensive per square foot. I'm going to switch the map back and forth between price and price per square foot. You're looking at exactly the same uh, properties, but when you look at price per square foot, it gives you a different perspective and might help you find a deal more readily. Here's one more quick example as to uh, what this mapping tool can do. Here we've divided the properties by uh, year of construction. The darker the circle, the uh, older the property, and the lighter the circle, the more recent the construction. And you can see that even in uh, areas where the village was, was built out many years ago, there is new construction going in as houses get remodeled.
So we're going to look at the differences between the regions of the villages. But first, let's look at long-term trends. This is the number of listings. This week, 515, which is a new high. This uh, graph only goes back a year. Last week, there were only 506 listings. A year ago, only 321. Currently, in the villages, prices range from 134.9 to just under 2.9 million. Not much to see on this graph, but we do keep track of it. This is the median time on the market for all MLS listings. This week, 57 days. Last week, also 57 days. A year ago, it was only 45 days. As you look at this graph, it's worth noting that every time we've gotten close to 60 before, it's uh, plunged quite precipitously, and this year it is not. This is the data point people seem most interested in. This is the median list price per foot for all active listings on the MLS. This week, 257.90. Last week, 258.32. A year ago, it was 261.59. And for those who are curious, 257.90 is only one cent higher than the lowest number that we've seen so far, which was 257.89. So I've divided the villages into four geographic areas, and I'll show you how they differ in terms of number of listings, price per square foot, and uh, sizes, and where there's activity. But as you look at these maps, I've broken the villages down into four separate areas. The first is the area that I'm calling the north. This is everything south of 42 and north of 466. Currently, 233 active listings, by far the most active uh, part of the villages real estate-wise. Uh, the second area is the mid-north, which is everything south of 466 and north of 466A. 147 active listings currently. Then we have the Mid-South, which is everything south of 466A and north of Highway 44. There are 70 listings. And finally, this is the area that I'm calling the South, uh, where there are currently 65 listings, and this is the newest area of the villages. This is everything south of Highway 44. So let's quickly take a look at the differences between the regions of the villages. Here we're starting by looking at the entirety of the villages, 515 active listings this week, smallest 840 square feet, largest 4,216, least expensive 135,000, most expensive just under 2.9, and on a price per square foot basis this week, prices in the villages range from $104 to $776 a foot. This is the north, where as I said, there are currently 233 listings. Sizes range from 840 square feet to 2687. Prices from 135,000 to 750,000. And on a per foot basis from 104 to 395 a foot. Keep in mind, this is everything in the villages north of Highway 466. Here is the mid north, 147 active listings. Sizes from 1,090 to 4216. Prices from 270,000 to a million three and on a perfect basis ranging from 208 to 675, with the median per foot price 268. Here's the Mid-South, 70 active listings, 1,156 square feet the smallest, 3,934 square feet the largest, prices ranging from 280,000 to just under 2.9 million, and on a per square foot basis from 218 to $776 a foot. And this is the south, the newest area in the villages. Least expensive home, currently uh, 255,000. Most expensive, 1,275. Price per square foot ranging from 223 to 536. And homes ranging from 961 to 3,260 square feet. I thought I'd break things up by adding this new chart. Here we're looking at the size of the home and the number of days on the market. So it's easy to spot homes that have just entered the market and homes that have been on the market for quite some time, depending upon which of those you want to focus on. So now I'm going to run through a couple of maps. And what I'm going to show you is how many homes there are at each price point and where they are. First, we're going to start with those homes under 100,000, of which there are none. The homes under 200,000 are these seven, and they're all in the north. Two to 300,000, these 78 homes, 
55 in the north, 14 in the mid-north, 2 in the mid-south, and 7 in the south. 300 to 400,000, these 177 homes, 112 in the north, 42 in the mid-north, 8 in the mid-south, and 21 in the south. 4 to 500,000, 129 homes, 35 in the north, 52 in the mid-north, 24 in the mid-south, and 18 in the south. Keep in mind, we're looking at price per square foot and size on these maps. The five to six hundred thousand dollar range, 56 listings, 13 in the north, 18 in the mid north, 17 in the mid south, and eight in the south. 600 to 700,000, these 23 homes, seven in the north, eight in the mid north, six in the mid south, and two in the south. 700 to 800,000, these 15 homes, four in the north, two in the mid north, three in the mid south, and six in the south. 800 to 900, these six, five in the mid north, one in the mid south. 900,000 to a million, these seven homes, two in the mid north, four in the mid south, and one in the south. And these 11 homes are the homes in the villages currently offered for more than a million dollars, four in the mid north, five in the mid south, and two in the south. Here I've broken down the price per square foot by price bucket. So you can see that in the $200,000 range, the least expensive home on a per square foot basis is 104, most expensive 192, and the median $173 a foot. In the $800,000 to a million dollar range, the least expensive on a per square foot basis 279, median 418, then the most expensive $493 a square foot. So now let's move on from listings. Here we're looking at a, a measure that we think is illuminating. This shows us how many properties have entered the market and left the market over the last week. New listings enter the market, pending home sales leave the market. Last week, 40 new listings and 34 homes going pending. The previous week, 41 new listings and 40 homes going pending. Uh, but last year, there were twice as many new listings as homes going pending. And this chart is basically just a summary of the previous one. This is the difference between new listings and homes going pending. Last week, six more listings than going pending. The week before, only one. A year ago, 21. But as you look at this graph, it's obvious that prints below the zero line mean inventory is being added. We'll take a quick look at the homes that went pending last week. Median price was 258 58 a foot. Previous week, 262.87. The year before, it was 259.44. So we are down year over year on the median price per square foot for homes going pending. This is a bright note for sellers. This is the price change for the homes that went pending last week. They had a reduction of 3.7% from the original list price. The previous week, it was a 4.33% reduction. And a year ago, it was a 5% reduction. But keep in mind, this is a lagging indicator because sellers entering the market today have more reasonable price expectations. So now let's look at sales. These are the homes that closed last week. They numbered 37. The previous week uh, was only 24. And a year ago was 41. The homes that closed last week ranged from 123,000. That was actually originally 119.5. That discount of 3% should be a premium. The most expensive home closing last week was a million seventy-five, which was originally a million two seventy-five, which represents a discount of fifteen percent. And of the homes that closed last week, the largest discount was a home that sold for three twenty-four, which was originally four thirty, which had been on the market for one hundred and twenty-three days and was a discount of twenty-five percent. If you're looking for a deal here in the villages, I think you can see how our tool can help you find properties, whether by how long they've been on the market or by the discount they're offering. So another look at sales. Here we're trying to get some sense of seasonality. This is sales per week. Last week, 37 homes closed. A year ago, only 30. Uh, two years ago, 29. Uh, but it seems to me that even though we saw a jump this week, the trend is lower through the end of the year in terms of number of sales. Here's another way of looking at activity. And here we are dividing inventory by sales on a weekly basis. Uh, last week represented 13.9 weeks of inventory. The previous week was 21. 
and last year was 10 and a half weeks inventory. But it's worth mentioning that sales last week jumped from 24 to 37, which uh, is the main reason why the weeks of inventory has dropped. This is the median price per square foot realized for the homes that closed last week. 257 a foot down from 260 a foot of the previous week and a little change from the 257 a foot of the same week a year ago. And finally, let's take a look at all listings once again. And here we're looking at what percentage of listings have reduced their asking price from the original list price. This week, 52.62%. Last week, 53.16% had. A year ago, only 48.9% had. And this is the actual percent of decrease. The median decrease this week, 4%. Last week, it was only 3.89. A year ago, it was 4.19. If you're a buyer and you're trying to find a good deal in the villages, please consider reaching out to me. I'll be happy to help you find one. And if you're a seller trying to maximize your return, I think you'll find that our approach will help you justify the highest reasonable asking price. If you need to reach me or wish to do so, please reach out to davidisinflorida at gmail.com or davidisinflorida.com. I'll be happy to answer any questions you have about life in Florida or life in the villages. I hope to hear from you. Take care.